copyright free music you can find it on you wait for the perfect moment there's never going to be a perfect moment you don't need a camera to start a youtube channel i can do a video on that if you want you need to make videos that are searchable and you start like videotaping yourself walking around the house they're probably gonna be like what is going on this is like my biggest tip hey guys welcome back to another video Today's video is a very exciting video. I'm gonna be doing a step-by-step -step, like guide and tips and all that on how you can start a YouTube channel in 2021. I've gotten like a couple DMs on how to start a YouTube channel, like, you know, what to do, what equipment you need, all that. So I decided to make a full dedicated video on literally everything you need to do and have to start a YouTube channel. And at the end, I'm going to talk about like monetization and how you can make money on YouTube. So I'll have the timestamps below in case you wanted to just like skip to a part that you know that you want to learn more about. But without further ado, let's get into the video. So I have my laptop here and I literally have a full on Google Doc on every single thing I want to talk about. So the first thing, step one, if you literally have no idea like YouTube, like what is that? The first thing you need to do is make a Google account. And once you have a Google account, you have a YouTube account account like you just go to youtube sign into your google account and that will be your youtube channel so once you have that and you know you want to start a youtube channel step two is thinking about what you want your channel to be about and what you want like your niche to be and all that which is really important because you need to have a specific niche whether that be like health and wellness and fitness fashion and lifestyle which is what I do, technology, arts and crafts, all that. And figuring out what you want your niche to be, it just depends on what you like enjoy doing and why you're starting your channel. Like if you really enjoy fashion, you do fashion videos, you know, whatever like your passion is and you just like really like doing and making videos about, that should be like your niche. And you really wanna get like specific with this because people when they see your videos and they find your videos and they like that video then they're going to want to see similar videos on your channel so for example if you make a video about like diy like tables or something and everyone likes that video and then for some reason you start making videos on like growing plants everyone's gonna be like what is that so you know stick with the same kind of vibe and it's gonna take a little to figure out like what vibe you want and like what you want your channel will be about so just like play around with it you know i still don't really know like what i'm doing this is like my biggest tip don't worry too much about what you're gonna do or like what type of videos you're gonna do it's kind of hard to explain but you, when you're making your first video you try to make it perfect that's what i tried to do i was like i need to have like the perfect first video it needs to be like amazing like it needs to look like this it needs to have like this editing like you know and then long story short i didn't post a video for like a year like i literally planned on making my youtube channel at the end of 2018 and i didn't post my first video till may of 2020 because i was just thinking too much about what i wanted to do so my biggest tip is don't think too much about what you want to do and just start like literally just film a video like pick up your camera or your phone and film a video like anything and just post it because if you wait too long to start and you wait for the perfect moment there's never going to be a perfect moment like i wanted to start my youtube channel so long ago and i was waiting for the perfect moment to start it i was like when i move out like when i'm out of like high school i'm gonna start it like i'm too busy right now whatever and then it took me two years to start it and that's like literally my biggest regret so like I look back in my photos and I see my YouTube intro that I made in 2018 and I'm like, if only I started in 2018. <laughs> but to figure out what you want to do and what videos you want to do, think about like why you're starting your channel. Like what do you want to like put out there? And if it's to become rich and famous, just delete your account right now. You're not going to go far because let me tell you, YouTube is a very, very, slow growing platform you do not blow up on youtube like you do on tiktok it is very slow growing and progress is going to be like so slow 
Like you could go on for years without getting a thousand subscribers. And if you're only doing it to make money and be like YouTube famous, you're gonna give up so quickly. So don't do that. Also, when you're making your videos, don't try and be like other YouTubers. Like don't look at other videos and be like, oh, I want my videos to be like that. Cause then you're just the exact same as them. You wanna find what makes you different than other YouTubers, whether it's like your personality or editing or like your video types, but don't directly like copy another YouTuber. Cause you know, there's already one of them. There can't be multiple. Okay, next step is equipment. You don't need a camera to start a YouTube channel. Let me just put that out there. You really don't. I got a camera because I was like, I really just wanted to dive in there head first and like really just make my videos really good. But you really don't, like your phone camera is amazing. If you have like one of the newer phones, they're literally so similar to cameras anyways. So yeah, you really don't need a camera, but if you want a camera, a good starting out one is the Canon G7X. A lot of people use that for like first time vlogging and stuff. The one that I use is the Sony ZV-1. I asked for it for Christmas last year and I love it. So editing, iMovie or Final Cut Pro are both really good video editing apps. Start out with iMovie because it's free and it's like basic, you know, there's, it's really easy to use, but I would suggest switching to Final Cut Pro once you like get into it more and you know you wanna stick to doing YouTube because it's $300 and if you buy it right away and then you realize you actually hate making videos, then that could be like an issue, so don't do that. Find a style of editing that you like and that you're good at. There's so many styles of editing. There's like funny editing, like just regular clean cut editing. There's like artistic editing, like whatever. Just find one that you like and that you enjoy. Also, if you wanna know how I edit my videos, I use Final Cut Pro and I can do a video on that if you want. Also for lighting, unless you're doing like high quality makeup videos, you don't need a ring light. I literally am just sitting in my bedroom right now. I prefer backlighting, so my window's back there, but you could also do it like switch the other way. I sometimes do videos like that, but I find it looks makes me look kind of weird, so. But you don't need a ring light. Okay, next step is like when you're making your videos, you want to make searchable content. So when you're first starting out your channel and you have like zero subscribers, no one is gonna care about your daily vlog walking downtown with my mom and buying flowers. Like literally no one is searching that. You need to make videos that are searchable and people are looking up. In video analytics in YouTube, it shows you how your videos are being found and you want the number one way your videos are being found to be YouTube search. I always put my YouTube whatever link in my Instagram on my Instagram stories, but not a lot like barely any of my views come from Instagram because people on my Instagram are mostly like friends and family and they don't really care. So you wanna make videos that are searchable. For example, clothing haul, redecorating my room, what's on my iPhone? Cause people are looking those things up and they're actively searching for them and they will click on your video. Next, you need to create a schedule. So create like an uploading schedule. I started with posting every Sunday and now I post every Sunday and Wednesday but you wanna at least post like once a week, at like maybe twice if you can, but focus on like quality over quantity. So don't post like seven times a week and they're all just like these weird, like two second minute vlogs that are just like really bad. And you wanna post at the same time. Well, you should try to, I don't really do that, but you should try to post at the same time because the YouTube algorithm favors people who are like consistent on the same day and the same time. I don't know if time matters that much. I know the day does, but you know, just to be safe. Music. So you wanna find copyright free music. It doesn't really matter when you're first starting your channel cause you won't get paid anyways. But basically if your videos are copyrighted, when you are monetized, you won't get paid. So copyright free music, you can find it on Thematic, I believe is what it's called, the one that I use, or I just go on YouTube and search like copyright free music. It's pretty easy, okay. Thumbnails. So you wanna take your thumbnails while you're taking the video. That's what I do, like I'll be like, pose in the video and then I'll just screenshot it. It's honestly the easiest way. You could take a p actual picture like with your phone, but that's just too much work for me to be honest. Sometimes I'll like mix and match like a bunch of different pictures if I'm doing like a clothing haul or something and make it look really nice. You want your thumbnails to be really nice and visually appealing because that's the first thing people see. They don't see your video. They don't see like the content. They see the thumbnail. And so that's what's gonna make people click on your video. I make my thumbnails on PixArt and then I 
put the font on them on the app Fonto, literally on my phone. Okay, the next tip I have is keeping the audience attention. This is really important because no matter how many views you have, that doesn't matter. It's the watch time that really matters when first, if you're getting monetized, the watch time matters and also like pushing your video out there. YouTube will look at a video that has way more watch time and it'll push it out to more viewers rather than if it has thousands of views, but everyone's watching the video for 20 seconds. A good example of that is clickbait. You don't want to use clickbait because that will make someone watch it for 10 seconds till they see what happens, then they'll click out and then your video won't get pushed out to a bigger audience. So to keep their attention, make the first like couple seconds of your video really interesting. Like whether you have like a little montage of what's gonna happen or like something like surprising or whatever in the beginning. So they wanna watch the video to find out what happens. Keep the entire video entertaining. So don't just make like the first five minutes really entertaining and then like just sit there and talk for the next 10 minutes because people will click off the video. When you're editing, you wanna cut things out like breaths and like pauses and stuff like that. So if I'm like, and then, I brought my dog to the vet. You wanna cut out all of that so it's like this. And then I brought my dog to the vet because that's way more like interesting to watch than someone who's just like, you know? Okay, the next thing that someone DM me about is embarrassment and criticism when you're making a YouTube channel, how to like deal with that, like family members and friends being like, what the heck is she doing? Why is she doing that? That's weird. I honestly, I don't see anyone except for my close friends because I just don't really hang out with anyone. So I don't really get criticism to my face. Maybe it's happening behind my back, but I really don't care. And you shouldn't care either because if you're doing something that you enjoy and you love doing, then you shouldn't care about the people who are like, that's weird. Cause they're probably just jealous that they couldn't do it to be honest. And you're gonna be laughing when you're a YouTuber and you have like a job as YouTuber and it's like sick. And they're just like, you know? So don't care about that. And your family, my family like knows that I'm weird. And so if I'm like walking around with a camera, they're just like, yeah, like that's just Sasha. But I can totally understand if someone's family is like not like that and you start like videotaping yourself walking around the house, they're probably gonna be like, what is going on? But just explain it to them, be like, I'm starting a YouTube channel. They'll support you doing something you like, you know? Also, you will 100% regret it if you don't start your channel because you're afraid of being embarrassed. Picture just like in a couple years when, you know, you actually decide to start it. You're gonna look back to two years ago and be like, why didn't I just start it? I don't care about those annoying people, you know? Also, if you can't deal with hate and like criticism now, you're not gonna be able to have a channel that's actually big because do you see the amount of hate that people get when their channels are bigger? So you're only gonna get more hate. So you may as well just get used to it. Okay, the next step is getting monetized. This takes a long time, very long time. So the criteria for getting monetized on YouTube is 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 watched hours. 1,000 subscribers is easier to hit than the 4,000 watched hours. Everyone usually hits that one first but the 4,000 watched hours is so difficult. Basically, you have to have, I don't know the best way to explain this, but people have to watch your videos for 4,000 hours. I don't know if that makes sense. For example, every video has an amount of watched hours. So if you have one video and 500 people watch it, and every single one of those people watches the video for two minutes, Okay, I don't know what I was trying to do there. That math just like went in one ear out the other. No idea what I was trying to say, but basically every video has an amount of watched hours. Like, let me go on here. So when I go to my YouTube analytics, I'm gonna go to one of my videos that did pretty well, which is this, what's on my iPhone 13 Pro, whatever. It got like 15,000 views right now. And 
my watched hours for this video is 402. So that video got me 402 watched hours. But if I have like a video that like has way less views, for example, this one has 200 and something, this video got me 14.3 watched hours. So if you're just starting your channel and you're just getting like 200 views, that's 14 hours per video and you need 4 thousand hours so it's a lot of hours but you just have to be patient with it and if you really just enjoy making videos like that's why you started your channel anyways so you know just keep going i am so close to being monetized oh, let me just check here so i have this app it's called youtube tracker it's gonna be flipped but this i'm 99 percent there this i'm i've already hit a thousand so i have like that's good but this 99% I need 23 more watched hours So excited anyways, and my last tip is don't give up Don't I have wanted to give up so many times and I actually stopped posting videos for like Three weeks one time because I was just like this is horrible. I hate this like no one's watching my videos And this is stupid and I lost like a hundred watched hours and got so much further to being monetized so don't do that also have fun and don't take it so seriously like don't put so much pressure on yourself like i do literally just have fun with it and if you love making videos it'll be fun so just keep on going keep on swimming, swimming, swimming. but that is all for today's video i hope you guys got some tips and that was like helpful if it was like give this video a like subscribe also and good luck with creating your youtube video i hope it goes great and don't worry guys small youtubers we will get there one day so thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys next week in my next video bye